What is up, Scrub fan? We are back today with your last minute primer. If you were playing in the Pro Play Tour online circuit event this weekend, this is something that we brought to you, tying together the minds of three issue, three issue projections to go over the list that we would play, as well as the sideboard cards that you should be looking out for over the weekend. Before we get started, let me give a shout out to my sponsor, Alec Pastrana. Beard Collectibles, best shop owner on the planet if you haven't gotten your sealed product for Series 9. If you haven't gotten those expansion packs, if you haven't gotten the Series 10, which is on the horizon, make sure you go through Beard Collectibles to get your sealed product. And then also shout out to Pro Play Games for putting on this online circuit, getting people engaged with Octagon. It's amazing to see. So if you're interested in content like Octagon Games, make sure you check out our Twitch, twitch.tv slash reissue productions to watch some gameplay taking place Monday through Thursday and on the weekends every single week. Thank you so much. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to start with is three actually picks. Frisco, Foz, and Richard Zapp both agreed this is one of their picks for the weekend. Surge Coup playing three colors, trying to abuse the ability to untap energy every single turn. Building in your own kind of Zeno button with the new Universe 1 card. It's a counterplay, costs three on your opponent's turn, and negates the skills of any five cost battle card that's coming into play and then it has aegis when you activate aegis you draw two cards what aegis does mean is you pitch a blue and yellow or blue and yellow card put it in your drop area activate it during the battle step it'll untap two of your energy and then this draws two cards whenever you activate aegis so basically just trying to take the old Zeno button broly deck and kind of just like give a brand new card that allows you to untap energy every single turn and of course we're playing four sensu bean four zamasu super combo we're playing two bojack resident agent of, of destruction as the arrival card and since we're playing zamasu super combo that means they can play four copies of Bergama ferocious roar which is becoming one of the best cards in the set hands down as we move forward so this is search coup um this is playing like i said it's playing a little bit of everything. You know, it's playing the untap engine that's featured in SS3. It's playing the really strong, generically good red cards, Exploiting Weakness, Topo, Righteous Aid, Broly Crown Retribution, Battle to the Death. It's playing Busted Yellow cards, Raiders War Cry, Saiyan Instincts, Bergamo, Chilled the Cruel, Chop of the Trickster, Cooler. And it's just combining all of the strongest cards in the game and just making a fantastic good stuff deck. So this is the first deck that is on their list for this weekend. Next one is going to be one of Frisco's picks. Uh, this is Frisco's four color Strength of Legends deck. Deck more so leans into the funner side of the gameplay, but it does some bust interactions. Being able to do Strength of Legends and then have Jiren Shackles of the Past active on the same exact turn is incredibly strong. And this deck has proven to already be very strong just based off of the build that Frisco has been testing with. And this can be tweaked and tuned to get even better. This is something where it's like, yeah, it's different because you're playing all these vanillas or these 10Ks, but cards like pride collective katal is something that isn't talked about as you know deck thinning is deck winning this, that card is the pinnacle of deck thinning it gets those cards out of your deck combine that juro super combo getting those cards out of your deck and then of course 4x ss broly all at assault to tap your opponent out on their turn so you then can resolve all your effects that you want to so this is one of frisco's picks as well another one of frisco's picks of course since he's incredibly indecisive is SS3 Goku Blue Yellow. This is using that same engine like we talked about in Surge Coup with the counterplay that allows you to Aegis to untap two. And then also we have the the blue the other blue yellow, which is you pay the blue and the yellow, you then can tap two energy to bottom deck one of your opponent's cards, and then at the end of your turn you also untap two. So playing SS3, you can use all five of your energy and then untap five of your energy at, at the end of the turn. The deck is very strong because it's also just a deck of value-based cards and counters. So all it's going to be doing is countering what you're trying to do and then playing draw twos. So the Android 18, the Great Ape Instincts, um, all these cards are card advantage based threats and it has tons of defense to be able to survive against aggro. And so this is one of Frisco's packs, if not probably his top pick heading into the weekend itself. Uh, next is Pat and Jose, this is one of their picks, is Piccolo Hand Destruction. With the introduction of the new Rubrian, um, along with Kakunsa, along with the Frieza that gives critical, uh, Piccolo Hand Destruction, no, no, there's no reason to let off the, you know, pedal now. You know, you have great cards across the board, you're playing a reactive strategy that punishes the opponent for trying to play the game, and at the same exact time, you have great win conditions um, combined with bad omen you have ss4 vegeta peak of permanent power and then now like i said with the new frieza combo to give one of your battle cards critical when it's attacking very strong to help you close out the game uh, very quickly playing a hand destruction uh next is a pick that's in between pat 
myself and Jose, uh, Montiello, Jiren Dalgos. Uh, again, like I said, this is one of the strongest decks that I've played in testing. Um, the YouTube video for this deck profile was Patreon yesterday. It's public today, so you, if you haven't had a chance to watch the video, make sure you do. Deck is very strong. It's able to disrupt your opponent incredibly easily. It's playing the same combo of Forzamasu Super Combo along with Bergamo to help trigger it. And then, of course, we're playing Universe 9 Assemble to help establish our board of Shapeels and Rose so we can tax our opponent's energy throughout the duration of the game itself. And then, of course, we're building a really wide, powerful board that will allow us to access Cell Zeno relatively easily. And then also this deck has a great matchup against Hand Destruction since you're playing four Universe 9 Assemble Symbol and three Great Apes in the main you're able to draw so many cards with these two energy effects. You have plenty of energy sinks. Uh, we're playing three Swift Retaliation Cooler, so any deck who's trying to counter your stuff, since this deck kind of plays relatively free, you're going to be able to resolve Cooler multiple times per game to kind of stifle the opponent and make them waste energy. So probably one of the better active strategies in the game. Right now, uh, Jiren Mono Yellow, I think it's a fantastic deck. The other one of our picks between Pat... Myself and Jose is green yellow Jiren with Belmod. This deck is more so a mid-range deck. You still have the ability to draw a ton of cards with this leader, but now we're going to be focusing on leveraging Topo Keys of Justice and then also trying to get to, you know, our fifth turn. So Belmod is live, so we can make our opponent discard even more cards. Four cards in total if you combine it with Topo Keys of Justice. And of course, we're leaning on Cell Zeno as, you know, one of our closers in the deck itself. This deck has been fantastic in testing, has a really solid matchup spread across the board, and is just one of the better mid-range disruptive decks in the format. Again, you're playing Jiren, so you get to play, you know, above your energy level every single game. So keep that in mind. This is another one of our picks. Now... I want to go ahead and move on to the key sideboard cards for the weekend. First things first, you're playing against hand destruction, right? You're playing against decks that don't want to allow you to, you know, awaken or don't want to allow you to draw a lot of cards. Well, there's plenty of answers for that right now. Battle to the Death is a great option if you're looking to awaken as well as draw those additional cards since you take them for your life and get a barrier guy off the board. Graves on Goku Saiyan Instincts. If you're not playing yellow it doesn't matter if you have copies of this card play it in your board to offset the effective rebrand and the hand destruction matchups jiren survival of the thinnest jiren survival of the thickest is a better name uh counterplay play this card draw one card and cards in your hand can't be returned to your deck by opponent skills for the turn you need to play this if you're expecting goji to hero revived it's a great counter uh, or even if your opponent's playing the new android um 17 card you you know that shuffles your hand back Play Jiren, it's going to interrupt that. It's going to be a great tempo swing for you. Play it in your board. Again, more shoes with hand destruction, you can play Predation, which is just blue, green, and it's just draw two cards, then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards, and it's cost one and KO it. You want to use the draw two effect, of course, and then, of course, we have Master Roshi Kamehameha Origins to get it back, so you can keep your hand full against those strategies. And then Android 18, never-ending energy. When you play this card, draw two cards. Uh, three energy, draw two. Anytime you're playing against a deck that's trying to Reduce your hand size via counters or via combo cards. The more cards you can have to just get a threat on board and fill up your hand with more resources, the better off you're going to be. So those are the, the cyborg cards I like in those matchups. Next thing is going to be against Jiren. Against your Jiren, you're going to want to be playing cards that get rid of barrier threats. So you're going to want Cease to Exist. You're going to want Battle to the Death. You're going to want Final Flash to get the barrier off of Kunchi or negate Kunchi's skills. You're going to want Kami Global Unifar to get rid of that board. And you're going to want Flying Nimbus to help prevent those large scales consistent attacks from happening to be able to buy yourself more time these are the cards i really like if you're thinking that jiren's going to be popular this weekend the next thing of course is invoker if you're playing against invoker you're going to want cards like cease to exist battle to the deck to be able to kill the invoker vegeta you're going to want arena record to kill turn of power arena final flash to go ahead and take invoker off of that vegeta fear shrouded make all their cards blank and then of course jiren survival of the fittest if you think that they're going to be playing Goji or Hero Revived. And then lastly, of course, Negates. <laughs> Gohan is a very popular deck. If you're playing four ne Negates main, you should probably play three to four more in your sideboard and stop the amount of times that that leader can actually attack. Since he's a green leader, he doesn't have access to any sort of battering laser effects, so the more that you can either keep that leader tap with some awesome super combo, SS Burly All at Assault, Beerus 5 drop, and combine that with more Negates, the more you're going to have success against that deck itself. So I would recommend putting some negates in your sideboard. So that was it. That was quick. This is your last minute primer getting you ready for the tournament this weekend. If you are looking for more content like this, make sure you subscribe to the Patreon at 3 Sheet Pro. And then if you're looking to check out our content on a day-to-day -day basis, we run a stream, twitch.tv slash 3 Productions. And if you have a chance, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're posting videos almost every day. 
best content out there on the planet, the most competitive on uh, content on the planet. If you're looking to take your game to the next level, 3x3 Productions is the content producer for you. Hashtag Scruff Fam is best fam. Okay, thanks. Bye!